All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt, and uh, today we're going to take a look. We're going to spend a little bit of time taking a look at this, uh, this Vaporesso Gen Mod. And uh, I know I'm late on this one. I know there's plenty of, plenty of, plenty of videos out there with all the guys that get the samples. Um, I get, you know, certain things when I can. I take a look at them for as long as I like, and then I, I'll put up a video on them if I want. Um, so, yeah, Vaporesso Gen Dual 18650 battery mod. Um, it, and it's great. It's great. I'm going to start off by saying, like, throughout all the... Uh, all the battery life of whatever kind of batteries you got in here, this thing just, it fires great with its pulse mode that I'll get into a little later on. Um, the manual doesn't do too good at explaining it. You can check it out on their website to kind of explain it, but basically what it does is it just sends continual like pulses that you can't tell while you're vaping it throughout the battery's lifetime that you just, you get a very good vape from this, uh, from this pulse mode along with all the other great modes that it has. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, let's dive down. We'll check out the packaging. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this Vapor SO Gen and why it's like quickly turning into everybody's favorite dual battery mod of the year. All right. Cool. So here we are on the download. This is the packaging that your Vapor SO Gen mod is going to come in. Now I got this as the kit. I didn't just get the mod. This comes with the uh, with Vapor SO's SKRR tank or Skur tank, whatever you want to call it. I'm I'm solely focusing on the Gen mod because. Um, I don't really want to go over the, the SKR tank. I'm pretty sure I've gone over it in uh, previous videos, the Vapor SO Lux. Um, so yeah, I got the red and black one, your packaging. Um, this one is red and black. I'm not too sure if the packaging for the other color mods are a different color. But yeah, so little info on the side here. It tells you you got the Axon chip, which basically is like a, uh, I don't want to say like an updated version, but it just has more options than uh, Vapor SO's Omni chip. Um, Power every puff, which kind of describes like the pulse mode that I was uh, talking a little bit about. Uh, it's very lightweight and durable, is what it's saying. A power saver, vape for longer, and then the SKR tank, which, like I said, I'm not really going to talk about. If you'd like to freeze frame on the back here, I'll tell you everything that it comes with anyway. But if you wanted to pause to take a look at what it comes with, that's great. Um, it gives you specifications on the mod and the tank. Um, yeah, so we're going to open this up, show you what comes inside. Pretty much standard stuff. You're going to get your your mod and your tank. You get an extra glass. Uh, we're just going to focus on the mod. So, I always love this packaging. Um, so, yeah, you get extra coil head. We'll just go through all this stuff real quick. Make a nice big mess going on. So, you get your manual for your gen kit. I'm assuming the manual for the mod is going to look a little different if you just decide to get the mod. By the way, um, I paid $67.95 through Element Vape for this kit, but I'm seeing, I think, for right around $50, if I'm correct. Um, if I'm not, you can just correct me in the comments. You can get the mod itself. So you get a manual, USB for charging and upgradable firmware on that uh, Axon chip, little QC certificate, and then this just looks like a uh, to check out the laser for... Um, anti-counterfeit label um, yeah so and then of course get all this out of the way we're gonna come right down and we're gonna zoom in a little bit here too you get your Vaporesso Gen Mod so yeah the Vaporesso Gen Mod like I said dual 18650 don't mind that our little little battery uh, whatever you'd like to call this here a little fabric pull your batteries out sticking out there um, so yeah this mod is um, it's about 93 millimeters in length, it's uh, 53 across the middle section here, and it's about 26 on top. Um, I don't have a little tool to use, but that is a spring-loaded 510 connection, and what I like on this mod is that it's perfectly centered. Um, other dual battery mods that we've seen in the past, um, other videos that I've done, they're off to the side, or they're just not perfectly centered. I like that the widest point is in the center, and obviously your connection, your screw-in is right there in the center. Um, taking a look at the front here. Sorry, this bad boy is scratched. I have been using it quite a bit. You have a fire button, nice and clicky, um, up, down, and then a menu button, and then of course your charge port. Um, obviously, you can charge with the uh, with the cord. Well, everybody usually recommends you charge your batteries outside of the mod, but yeah, you can charge with that right there. Um, here it says Axon. You have a couple magnets. Um, Nice little fabric thing, like we were saying, I, I wish I knew what this was actually called. Um, nice battery indicators, positive, negative, positive, negative. 
on our door here we have caution vaporesso gives you a little vaporesso.com and then their instagram handle and a couple of more magnets now i want to say that this little texture that you're that you're seeing here um, it is very grippy um, supposedly according according to what i've read that it has a zinc alloy a chassis whatever you want to call it um, however you pronounce it I guess I should say um, it's got like this rubberized like coating feel to it I don't know the exact material but um, it's got quite a few layers of whatever this texture is like all over it and um, it's it's really nice it's super lightweight even with both batteries in here this thing is super lightweight and it's just grippy and as you can see like it, it fits in the hands pretty nicely I have big hands and like it still fits it fits nice and it feels good Obviously red and black for me is a go-to if you guys know me, you know my channel You know that I uh, I'm a big red and black kind of guy as far as colors. So let's go ahead. We're gonna put some batteries in here And then we will start this thing up and we'll show you the little menu options and whatnot five clicks on five clicks off right now um, So you have your battery life indicator. I don't know how good you'll be able to see that you get a battery life indicator It'll give you your own mode uh, puff counter, you have your wattage, tell you what mode you're in, which we're in pulse. So we have a menu button here. Three times gives you tells you that. So three times will take us into our menu. Right now it's in pulse mode, which is what I was kind of describing earlier. You can go on their website if you want to read more on the pulse mode. But basically, like I was saying, it just um it just gives you the pulses throughout the whole battery life, giving you your wattage or temperature or whatever you're requesting. Um, in pulse mode, obviously the wattage. So yeah, that is uh, that is great. I definitely want to point that out that um, you don't feel it as you're vaping, so it's almost like you don't even know. You don't even know it unless you're you know you look at the mode and you read about it and all that. So yeah, that's great. I'm going to a power eco, power echo, however you want to pronounce that. Basically, that's just going to um, that optimizes your settings to lengthen your battery life uh, to its full potential as far as like what the mod can do. Um, for not sucking up all your battery, it just it just optimal settings. If you're you know you're in between charges or you don't get a chance to charge throughout the day, um, you get the smart TC. So basically, that's gonna read um, that's gonna read your RDA, the coil that you have going on, and it's gonna give you the best settings possible for whatever it reads. You get your DIY mode and uh, system settings. We'll go under system settings there. You get a puff counter, um, brightness flip screen auto eco on or off so basically that 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 eco mode on or off um, default version tell your version and then exit so yeah um, this thing is really bright it's I'm pretty sure right now it's on the brightest setting we can check that out just to make sure yeah so we are on the the, the brightest setting which is what we want and um, yeah so those are all your settings we're gonna go back down here to exit uh, so that was your system set and then you just have exit so you have all the all the all your DIY mode you go in there I'm not going to go over all these but variable wattage variable um, variable voltage you know your custom curves wattage and your bypass your super player mode if you want to use uh, low resistance um, low resistance builds on here which is nice because you know sometimes you get a, a, a build that is low resistance when you're in the beginning you know pulsing it out and then it ends up coming up obviously it's not recommended to run like a 0.05 on here um, the resistance range that they're claiming on their website is from 0 0.03 to 5 ohms um, like I said you know not really suggested so then exit and we'll get out of here so yeah back out on our main screen here I'm gonna go back in just to put it back into uh, our pulse mode so we're back in pulse 130 watts is what I have it set as so when you screw on a RDA we're gonna put on the passage RDA which is what I've been using a lot in love and it's gonna ask you new load or old load um, either way if you do old it's gonna just gonna have whatever settings you have but if you do new it's gonna do scanning it's gonna tell you the resistance 0.14 and then obviously the wattage that I have it set at and this thing just fires it's great it's instantaneous and um, yeah as far as uh, as far as protections with this you're gonna have you know all your protections that you normally have with a regulated device like this you know your short protection overcharge low power um, <clears throat> excuse me sorry my mouth is getting dry from talking so much um, 
I went over all the uh, all your modes, your nickel, titanium, stainless steel compatible. Of course, you get an OLED display. Battery doors are magnetic up and down with your menu in the middle there. Now, the colors that this is going to come in, let me zoom out a little bit here now that you can actually take a good look at it. This is the red and black, so you're going to get silver, black and blue, black and red, and black. So what this includes, like I said earlier, you get your mod, your USB, your user manual, and your user guide. If you get the tank, obviously you get spare glass, O-rings, and another coil head. So I think at this point, I've uh, described this pretty well. Let me just go on to show you, um, you know, really fast as far as scrolling. Before 100 watts, it goes up in 0.1 increments. And uh, 5 to 220 watts, which is plenty. And uh, as we shoot back up here to 220 watts, I do want to just point out that this um, wicked fast scrolling, by the way, which is nice, um, it does not round robin. So that's a con to some people. I don't really mind it. I mean, I don't go up that high to have to uh, to have to restart all over. I've been staying, I've been staying around, uh, you know, 130, 100, right around there. For some reason, I just, I've been vaping. Uh, a lot of lower builds on mechs and I just I just been liking that three presses on the fire button will lock your your setting that you have here so let's go back up top we'll give it a vape I'll give you guys my pros and cons and uh, yeah we'll go from there alright so we are back up top here with that lovely Vaporesso gen mod I forgot forgot to point out the bronze accents that are all over this so you got Vaporesso here obviously on the other side it says Vaporesso and then your fire button is bronze um, I don't mind it it's okay. I mean, stainless steel would have been nice. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I don't think they offer, I'm not too sure about the other colors, but uh, maybe on the other colors if they offered uh, stainless steel or something, that would be cool if they did something a little different. So, pros and cons, let's go into it. I know this is getting long. I don't want it to be too, too long. Try and stand for 15 minutes so people don't just click off. Um, yeah, so, pros and cons, don't mind me. I'm just looking down at my notes that I have. As far as cons, and I know this is gonna sound funny, but if you've been watching the videos on this, um, Everyone's loving this mod. We haven't had a lot of dual battery uh, mods come out this year. It's obviously, it's just been a lot of RDAs, RTAs, uh, a lot of pod systems, um, you know, sub ohm tanks and whatnot. But there has not been a lot of dual battery mods. And this one is just, it stands out from the rest because of the, because obviously dual battery, which is a must these days for most people. Um, it's rubberized, uh, textured feeling that just gives you good grip. And even with the batteries in here, it just feels crazy light. So what I'm going to say is as far as pros, let's, we're going to talk about the battery door. As you can see, once your batteries are in there, magnetic, it just, there's no, you know, you can see that there is no battery door slide. So that's definitely a pro, the magnetic door, and just the fact that the door doesn't slide once your batteries are in there. I've already said that the lightweight, the rubberized, um, those are both pros, big pros. I gotta say that the firing range that this thing offers is great. Um, I like using around 100 watts, so as long as a, as a mod like this has like 100 watts, I'm usually satisfied. Going over that is kind of, uh, it's like hit or miss. Some people like it, some people don't, of course, but 220 watts is more than enough for what anybody's gonna need. I don't know anybody that um, vapes that high as far as wattage. Excuse me. Um, and then the Axon chip. The Axon chip is a pro because of all, all everything that it offers as far as all the modes and everything like that. And I didn't go into the super player mode and the bypass and the specific and your custom curves and all that and your your metal selection because I just use wattage. But it's all there and it's and it's available and it's it's nice. Um, so yeah. And then let's just get into the cons real quick. So, as far as cons, basically my only my only complaint is just the colors. It's just like you get black and red, black and blue, or silver or black. Um, I'd like to see more colors and not just these color combos. Like if I could get just all red, that would be great, or just all blue, um, that would be cool. You do get uh, silver and black as the flat colors, so who knows, maybe they'll come out with something in the future. If not, I mean, it is a cool color combo. And to be honest, I'm just trying to come up with a con. I just There's so many pros with this that these devices just keep getting better and better and there's less and less to be nitpicky about because most companies just try and prove from their past as far as devices. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. If you're still here, thanks for watching. 
if you watched you know all of it and not just wanted to hear my opinion at the end thanks for watching thanks for sticking around if you like this video um, it would mean the world to me if you you know hit that like button leave a comment tell me what you like what you didn't like definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that'll let me know that you're interested in more content like this um, I'm on every social media that should be in the description I'm also on patreon if you want to further support me in doing this and uh, doing what I like doing, you know, full unbiased reviews, which is, I, I really like doing it. And if you, uh, if you're free and you want to see more, uh, Logan XL is myself, great guy. If you don't know him, check out his channel. He's on every, uh, every social media. I'm pretty sure it's just Logan underscore exhales. And, uh, we do a live stream every Saturday night, 7.30 PM Eastern time. And we, uh, we have a good time. News advocacy. Uh, beers, laughs, all that. Come check us out and uh, just keep vaping, guys.